Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey Crafts and uh, thought I'd make another video today. Uh, I, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm just cooking some uh, potatoes or as we call them in Ireland, spuds in the background. Uh, so while the, the spuds are boiling, I thought I'd have a cup of tea and uh, why not have a chat with, with you guys again. Um, so I was just saying the uh, the live stream was, was good uh, good fun yesterday. It was great to uh, interact with uh, with people who are interested in black tort and this little community that I'm trying to create online. So I'm just having my cup of tea as usual. And um, I got a few ideas from the live stream to, to make a few videos. And uh, there's one that I kind of wanted to, to touch on that um, I've kind of been asked for to uh, to discuss about uh, the Blackthorn folklore and some folklore around it. And I think uh, yesterday uh, there was some reference to the, the, the Blackthorn fairies and stuff, and I was laughing at that. And uh, I thought I'd, I'd actually explain to maybe some people um, about some of the stories around some of these uh, these kind of fairies and, uh, you know, what, what the kind of folklore around the Blackthorn. I thought I'd make for an interesting video. So... Just why you know, drink my uh, my my cup of, uh, cup of tea. So like you know, you have to remember like in in old 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 Ireland, Blackthorn, you know, I had a pretty dark reputation. It wasn't you know the the nicest type of wood that was out there. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stories around it, a lot of fear as well. Um, so like just just to kind of touch on the the fairies. Um, there there's this kind of story that these kind of very um unfriendly fairies lived in the Blackthorn uh, bush and uh, they were called moon fairies and specifically they were referred to as the uh, Lunan Tishida. So the Lunan Tishida, which is like a translation just means moon fairy. And uh, these um, moon fairies would guard the Blackthorn pretty well. And if you went cutting Blackthorn, especially say on the festival of Samhain, uh, Samhain, you might Ihahawan, Halloween, you know, just for so at at the time of the year when Halloween was, and um, if you went cutting blackthorn, it was you know you're going to get in trouble with those fairies and they'd come after you. Or if you did it on Bia uh, the festival of Bialtana, which is in May, so it's just the start of the you know the summer. Um, these spiky fairies would come and get you and and cause some some trouble. Um, and you know the the only the they were the, the two worst days to do it, but you're not supposed to cut blackthorn. Like I said that the only days that you could go and cut blackthorn when the fairies weren't there was when there was a full moon, because when the, the when there was a full moon and um, these, these moon fairies, as the name suggests, they would go off and uh, pay homage to the, the, the moon goddess. So while they're out, you know, doing their thing with the old moon goddess, you can go in, cut your blackthorn and get away just before these, these fairies would get you because, uh, you know, in really old Ireland, like um, it was only safe to cut blackthorn during the uh the, the the full moon. So you'd want you'd want to be careful, like you know. So uh, you know, I think in the live stream yesterday, someone was just mentioning about the fairies. So I thought it was kind of interesting to to kind of explain that and um, you know, just some of the folklore around it. Like there's another bit of folklore around too. Um, like there's a in 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 kind of Celtic times you know, you'd have various goddesses as like the summer goddess was, was Bridget and the, um, the, the goddess of winter was, was Calloc, uh, Calloc. And, um, basically, um, on Halloween, on the festival of Samhain, um, Calloc, the goddess of winter would come to take over the year from the, the summer god, Bridget. And, uh, Calloc, and her association with, with Blackthorn is that she was always portrayed as this kind of like um, blue veiled uh, old woman. And she, she had this raven, you know, those, those, those evil looking birds, ravens on her shoulder. And she would always have a Blackthorn staff in her hand as well. And so, you know, with this Blackthorn staff, she could create a mountain, create a lake, create valleys, all, all of these things. And, uh, you know, of course, like the, the, the Blackthorn staff was also used to bring snow and storm and, and winds. So like the kind of association with, with the kind of winter goddess is that, you know, she would have a Blackthorn uh, as, as well. Um, another kind of thing on the folklore, just to kind of touch on is about witches, I suppose. But, mm. Like witches, um, the only folklore is like mainly Ireland and the UK, Scotland as well. Like it's kind of weird because like, Blackthorn wouldn't have 
any folklore that I'm aware within like say France or Germany of other places that that it does does grow as well but um yeah so like with witches um witches would use uh you know black turn for their dark magic like you know when they wanted to curse someone so like you know if you cross the witch and they're 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 not happy with you they're going to curse you they're going to take out their piece of black turn and give you a curse it was the, it was the the one ones that they would use specifically for cursing and uh especially once they wanted to cause cause trouble um like there's a reference to it in history in scotland as well like there was a there's a guy in 18 or sorry in 1670 called uh, major thomas weir of edinburgh and uh he was burned you know as they do with witches burned them burned them you know burn them at the stake and uh, he it was recorded that uh they had to burn his black thorn too because they believed he was getting all his energy from from the black thorn so like um you know, back in those days, they used to burn things to kind of cleanse the evil out of it. They they saw saw that as well. So there's kind of like legends around the witches as well. And also in some of the folklore, it's associated with the man himself, the devil, you know, the, the, the evil guy, the devil. They said that, um, you know, the devil would, would prick you with a black thorn when he wanted to seal a deal. So you've done your blood deal with, with the devil. So if you again if you want to seal a deal with the devil you you prick your finger so uh i don't know it, under that logic i guess i have about ten thousand deals with the devil because i've been pricked many a time and spent many a blood over those those black thorns so if you're if you're one of these people that the kind of believe in in fairies and, and winter goddesses and and witches and different things like that you know look there's some of the the folklore um around the uh the, the kind of association with with black thorn um you know uh i'm still here <laughs> i don't think any curses uh have hit me yet i think i i said i've given my blood to the uh to the the, the black thorn fairies many times so i think that's what they take for me uh you know like they they get me every time i go go to cut black thorn they they get me every time i, I I'm, I'm always cut and attacked so it must must be the fairies like who else would it be like you know so uh, again, look, it's uh, it's one of those things that I to touch on some of the the folklore, and you know you can take that with a pinch of salt, of course. You know that's that's some of the stories that are kind of like I'm aware of uh, as well, and uh, you know like black thorn is a good association within like Celtic like history. Like say for example, you know like um, there's an old writing in Ireland called Om, and you'd see the Om stones. It's like these little lines and stones. It used to be the real old alphabet of Ireland, and the fourteenth letter in ohm it's kind of closely associated with the letter z say in if to try to put it in in today's terms so it was called the uh the, the straff and this letter was associated with blackthorn as what blackthorn was known as so there's like a letter in ohm specifically for for blackthorn so i found that interesting so you know it's it's it, it, another question on the live stream is how long you know has blackthorn been around and look there's there's um i, I think at the time i said you know if, since the early few hundreds and stuff then the more i was thinking about it after the live stream i was like sure it's in ohm and if there's an association with ohm it can go back whew, thousands of years like so um because that that's a really ancient form of writing um so yeah i just thought that was interesting we had a flo folklore around uh, a black thorn for today's video okay thanks for watching and thanks for supporting the channel okay bye-bye